Hey, what's up? This is DTJ, and I have another video for you. Like and subscribe. I got all the videos you need for living in Japan. So, Japanese toilets. <laughs> have you ever seen that South Park episode where Kyle's dad is a Japanese toilet? It's pretty damn funny, to be honest. You start getting into the Japanese toilets. Japanese toilets? Yeah, they're sort of the super high-class luxury models with all the bells and whistles, but you probably don't want to spend that kind of money. Hi, Rick. This gentleman would like to see the Japanese toilets. Well, of course, sir. My name is Rick. Let me know if there's anything you need. These toilets are all equipped with the highest-end features, including an automatic bidet system, Bluetooth capability, and seat warmers. Seat warmers? Oh! Well, these things have a lot of options on it. Uh, heated seats for the winter, a built-in bidet, massage, all these type of things. I remember when I first saw a bidet, it was in a Crocodile Dundee movie, I might. But they were separate from the actual toilet, right? Some nitwits put two dunnies in here. One dunny, one bidet. Bidet. Mm. It's for, um, after you, you, um, you know. They even have toilets where the seat raises up when it senses you're nearby, and they can flush by themselves too. So the cost of a Japanese toilet can range from 30,000 yen to around 400,000 yen, like my yen. That's about 3,700 US dollars, roughly. Still though, living in Japan, you can run into some issues operating one because all the buttons are in Japanese kanji. But this video will help break down the buttons on a console as well as give you some tips on how to save money while operating one. First, let's go over the buttons. This is the console for the unit at my house. It's mounted on the wall, but the buttons or dials on yours may actually be on the side of your unit. Nevertheless, the modes are the same, so don't worry. This button is the stop button and it'll stop the bidet function. After hitting it, water will stop coming out of the nozzle. The next button says Oshiri, meaning ass, <laughs> and the text under it says wide, for you wide booty people out there. No, but seriously, this shoots out a wider spray pattern to clean your buttocks. This button says bidet, and it will aim a little lower, if you know what I mean, to clean a lady's private area, in cases where you're menstruating or whatever the case may be. Guys, you know exactly where this will be aiming at, so choose it safely, okay? Next, this button will increase or decrease the force of water coming out of the nozzle. So obviously, if you hit the minus button, it will decrease, and the plus will increase that pressure, right? This selection increases the length of the nozzle with the button on the left decreasing it, and the one on the right increasing it. This button is for a large flush, so if you just had Yakiniku, you'll probably end up using this one. Whereas this button is for a smaller flush for like urine, etc. This is the massage button. Hitting it will initiate a, a rhythmic burst of water and it's used in conjunction with the Oshiri and Bidet buttons. This button says nozzle soji or nozzle cleaning. It'll heat itself up in an attempt to kill bacteria. Best to use that every now and then. This button is an important one. It's for heating the seat. You'll need it in the winter months, trust me. Getting up in the morning to sit on a cold toilet seat isn't a pleasant feeling, but something to keep in mind, you'll want to turn this off in the spring months or any month that you're not really using it to keep your electric bill down. So keep an eye on that because turning it off and on all day isn't really ideal because it'll take a while for it to heat up and by the time it heats up, you would have already used the toilet, making the function useless. Also, if you hit this button enough times, it'll increase the heat, so be careful not to burn yourself. And this one increases the heat of the water coming out of the nozzle. This is your auto flush button. You do your business and walk away. I repeat, walk away. This eco button of mine puts it in a lower power setting when it's not being used. Also, if you have any red blinking lights on yours, just unplug the toilet and turn it back on. I don't have that problem with my unit, but I've seen other people complaining about it on theirs. Some people inadvertently hit like test mode buttons and think they broke the toilet, but these things are pretty solid and they don't break easily, so don't worry too much. And that is how you use the Japanese toilet bidet in Japan. Like, subscribe, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Go ahead and use the toilet. DT out.